My name is Bogdan Sekarano. I'm a business solutions consultant with more than five years of experience at BT Provider and a Tableau Desktop Specialist Certified. And today we will see how easy it is for us to visualize the sales of product categories using Tableau software. We will begin by creating a product hierarchy. This is done very easily by dragging subcategory on top of category. I'll rename it to product and we can start building our uh, report. The first step would be to double click on sales and right from the start Tableau suggests a way to see this, uh, this data. I'll bring products on the column shelf and Tableau has built a graph for us. I'll rotate it so it would be easier for us to see it. And now we have sales of categories and by expanding this hierarchy, we can also see the subcategories. But this isn't the easiest way to see this data. Now, let's bring sales on the label. And this way we can have a figure, a sales figure for each subcategory. Let's start descending. And we can see that each category has products that sell well and products that aren't doing so good. We can also see the sales only for, uh, for certain categories if we are interested in that. But how would it be if we wanted to see the percent of sales that a subcategory represents? For this, Tableau helps us by using quick table calculations. So I went to the I I opened the properties of the sales field. We have this section called quick table calculation, and I'll select percent of total. And right now, Tableau calculates the percent that each subcategory has based on the, um, the entire um, data that we brought into the view. Basically, the sales of chairs represent 11.88% of the total sales of, product, of products. This is good. However, now we lack the sales figure, that figure that we had before. So I'll bring again sales on top of label and now we have both the percentage and the sales. But this is, isn't the easiest way to see the data. However, we can uh, modify it, we can change the, the look by going into the label and we can see that Tableau automatically sets percent of total on top of sales. As we don't want that, we will modify it how we like it. So I've uh, set a separator. I'll also add a currency. And now we have both the sales figure and the percent that each subcategory represents out of the, out of the total sales of products. But what happens if we are only interested in the category? not the whole list of products. What happens if we want to see how much the, the chairs represent out of the furniture sales? Luckily, we have a very quick way to, to achieve this. I'll go again to the properties of the sales field. I'll go to edit table calculation. And we can see that uh, by default, Tableau calculates the percent of total using all of the data that we added to this report. You can see this by looking at the subcategories and you can see that they are all highlighted. If we change the calculation method from table down to pane down, we can immediately see that Tableau now focuses only on the, uh, <clears throat> on the product category. And now our sales of chairs represent 36.53% of the sales of furniture. 
and that's exactly what, what we wanted. Let me close this. And now we can see that the percent of total has been recalculated for each and every subcategory. Now it takes into account only the category that a certain subcategory is part of. Of course, we can go back and see only the categories if this is what we want. And now we have both sales and the percent of total. What we lack, however, is the profit. But we can simply drag it on top of color. And immediately we notice that there is a subcategory of products that doesn't have profit. And I'm talking about the table subcategory. You can see that the product, that the, the profit for the tables is negative. You can see this either by selecting the subcategory or just hovering with the mouse over your subcategory. And this is how easily it is to see your data with Tableau software. Of course, Tableau has many other uh, big table calculations, not only percent of total. So join us on LinkedIn to see other videos about quick table calculations in Tableau.